Salam alaikum. Nengende? Bakken tawatu. Basa yaram jam. Ba yenin gichi jam. Nakawa kuge. Bakken tawatu. Nakasa yai aksapap. Ba amolen ben jefe jefe. Jeringen jef. Yalanai yalalen am salam. Here's the translation in English. May peace be upon you. How are you? I hope nobody in your house is sick. I hope everyone is well. How is everyone in your house? How are you? How are the kids? I hope you're all healthy. How is your mother and your father? Hopefully you don't have any problems. Thank you all and may God protect you all. As we can see, greetings in Wallaf are much longer than greetings in English. I will never forget the first time I lived in San Luis, Senegal, when I learned how to greet people and I observed what they were doing. I was so confused. How many questions were they gonna ask? How long was this gonna take? And they kept asking me about my family, but I didn't know them. So why were they asking about my family? Chi video vi dina waktan chi lu wutale amerik ak Senegal. Chi biro nuyu. In this video, I'm gonna talk about specific differences between the United States and Senegal in terms of greetings. Speaking with Steph, cultural differences in greetings between the US and Senegal. Chi Senegal, nuyu dafa am solo lol, chi se de gente ak se harit, se mbok ak nyep, chi emerak nuyu am na sole tam wante dafa gat. Munga nyaka nyaka nuyu sah. Bufeke nga yakente wala nga jap. In Senegal, new or greetings are very important between you, your friends, relatives, and everybody. In the US, greetings are also important, but they are quick. It's, it's even okay to not greet someone at all if you are in a hurry or if you're busy. Listen to this typical interaction between two friends in the US. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good, what are you up to? Not much, just studying. Do you wanna go get some burritos later? Sure, sounds good. Wallaf translation. Nengadef, jamrek. Nengadef, defumadara, damai jangrek. Bungadem lek burritos chichkanum? Wow, bahna. Notice how short the greetings were. They typically last about two sentences with responses, whereas in Senegal, greetings can last for several minutes or longer, depending on this per person's age. Notice also how we don't repeat ourselves in the US. I'll never forget when I first met my husband, who is from Senegal, and he kept repeating, how are you? Nangadef, or say things like, Yangitog, you are sitting. Nakawakurga, <laughs> nakasayai, how's your mother? Nakasapap, how's your dad, etc. I laughed. I was thinking, wow, he really likes to greet people. This brings me to my next important cultural difference when talking about greetings, age. In Senegal, the kind of greeting and the amount of time you spend greeting depends on the age of the person you're talking to. In the US, greetings can be the same no matter how old the people are, but we also use slang or informal language for younger people or peers. For example, some Americans wouldn't say, what's up, dude, to their parents, but some would. It just depends on the relationship they have with their parents. In Senegal, the greetings for older people is very specific and very important in terms of showing respect. Here's an example greeting for an older woman. Sahnasi, nengadef, mangifi, santua, jalo, 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 santubi, ngom, ngom, mbasa yaram jam, Alhamdulillah. Nakawa kerga, nungi fidak, bakan tawatu, nyep nungi jam, nakan job jotji jamarak. Alhamdulillah. As shown in the above, um, as shown in the in this dialogue, respect is essential in Senegalese culture. For greetings, the first way to show respect is that you must use a title for an older person. Senegalese say sonasi or yai or mom for women, which means madame, mom, and grandma. They say kelefigi or sitting bi 
or papa or tonto or njai. For men, which means sir or leader or uncle in English. In the U.S., saying madame or mrs. or miss is very formal in most states, although they're more commonly used in the South. We do, all, all, we do say this sometimes for strangers, though, or when we meet someone in a professional situation for the first time. Next, notice how Wolof speakers ask an older person they've met for the first time for their last name. But even if they already know that person, they still need to repeat their last name several times to show respect for their family. In the U.S., most people don't say the last name of older people unless it's a professional situation. My husband was very surprised when our children's friends would come over and they would call him by his first name. Also, they would often just walk by his office without saying anything to him. This is a huge cultural difference. In Senegal, children are required to stop and greet the parents and elderly people in the house. Another difference in greetings is the fact that Senegalese ask about each other's families, even if they don't know them. This was another surprise for me when I lived in Senegal. I remember the first time someone greeted me and asked me about my family. I was so confused. Did they know them? Did they know my family? In the U.S., we only ask about each other's family, if we're good friends. Even then, it's often only if we've met each, other, each other's families before. Finally, notice the difference in the amount of time that greetings take in the requirement to always greet. In Senegal, it depends on whether you're talking to someone who is older than you, but still, greetings are longer than in the U.S. Also, in Senegal, greetings are an integral to the moral values of people. Young children learn that they must always greet everyone, all the time, even inside their own house. First thing in the morning, they have to wake up and go find their parents and say good morning. In everyday life, coworkers, colleagues, friends, strangers, etc., all greet each other before, first before beginning to talk. In the U.S., we are much more direct in a work setting. We will often begin by asking for something or commenting on something without any greeting. This is a major difference. You cannot achieve anything in Senegal if you do not greet people. It is considered rude. So greet people and many doors will open for you in Senegal because people will feel you respect them and will open up. Here's the resources I used for this. Also, if you would like to learn more about the differences between the culture between the United States and Senegal, subscribe to my channel and I will be updating videos soon.